Well, what a marvelous occasion. And contrary to popular belief, I don't often get to do this sort of thing. My work in an office at RF Cranwell, which is full of paperwork and computers, and I don't often get to see real cadets, and that's the bit that I like doing. I used to do it. I used to be a volunteer on 2160 squadron. But being a volunteer is the best time of the job and they are going to tell you otherwise. You are part of an organisation that has 44,000 cadets. 44,000 cadets. That's, that's a number that's quite difficult to imagine. And over the next four years, the parent service, the Royal Air Force, is actually downsizing. And that's going to be about 33,500. So the Air Cadet Organisation is going to be larger than the parent organisation. Now, for those of you who were at the dinner last night, I was thinking a little bit about what's happened in my lifetime. I said that, you know, you, like me, we're all born in the last century, so we're all about that people anyway. No point about you being smug about being young. But we're all from the last century. But during that last century, all sorts of things have happened. Do you think to prep back to your history of flight lessons, the Chinese first started flying kites 3,000 years ago. Okay? It wasn't until about, what, 1,600 years ago that Leonardo da Vinci first started designing aeroplanes. It wasn't until about 1,800 that people first started going up in balloons. And then they started, in the 19th century, flying gliders. And it wasn't until the beginning of the 20th century that the first pound flight happened at Pitty Lake with the right body. The first military aviation started in 1911, 100 years ago this year, and the RAF started in 1918. First of April, as it happens, I don't know if anyone said And in my lifetime, I was born in 1951, we've seen huge increases. I, I was telling you last night, I used to watch the big ocean liners taking people to America. That just doesn't happen anymore. Everyone goes on the airplane. We've had the advent of supersonic passenger travel. We've had all sorts of things. All that has happened in my lifetime. 3,000 years, hardly anything happened. Everything's happened in the last 60 years. What a marvellous time to be involved in an organisation that is concerned with aviation. If all that's happened in my lifetime, I think what's going to happen in yours. I'm going to talk to your parents a minute now, and, and the guardians and the other people who want to see you. Tell you a little bit about this organisation. As I've said, there's, there's 44,000 cadets involved, about 1,000 squadrons in the Air Training Corps, and about 200 units in the CCF, which is our sister organisation. It's not just a matter of coming here and wearing a uniform and marching up and down. We are a uniformed youth organisation, in exactly the same way as, say, the scouts or the guides. In fact, part of my job is, is liaison with Air Scouts and, and the Girls' Venture Corps. So we are a, a uniformed youth organisation, a youth organisation above all. We are heavily sponsored by the Royal Air Force. In fact, I'm wearing a volunteer's uniform today, but my paid job is as a civil servant. So I work for the government. My, my boss, the Commandant of the Air Cadets, is a serving Air Commodore in the Royal Air Force. So these people, although they're not in the Royal Air Force, they are in a, a youth organisation that's heavily sponsored by them. Does that mean that they're going to have to join the RAF? No, it doesn't. We're pleased if they do, and about 50% <coughs> of all officers and aircrew within the RAF are ex-air cadets. So the RAF has, has cottoned on that, that the air cadets is quite a good place to look for new recruits, but we're not a recruiting organisation. These people could go off and do anything they wanted to. At the moment, a lot of them want to join the RAF. They may change their mind, they may not. But when they do decide, they will make an informed decision. And that means the ones who do decide to join will go in with their eyes open. They'll know what to expect. They do better during training, 
they stay in longer and they get further. So that's a good deal. The people who spend some time with the RF and decide they don't like it, well that's a good deal as well because they don't waste their time, they don't waste anyone else's. So what you've got here is a first class way of getting your kids to learn all about life, and to learn about aviation, to get skills that will fit them to work in a military or a civilian uh, environment and it will give them good citizenship and an adventurous spirit as well. That's what King George set the Air Training Corps up to do and we still do that even today. It was originally for young men, now of course it's for young men and women and half of this new intake are young women so I think that's, that's interesting as well. When people are in uniform it's quite difficult to see the person you're looking for. If you're looking for your particular son, daughter or granddaughter or whatever, I can assure you they were the smartest one on parade. That's how you spot them. I'm going to talk again to the cadets now. Now you come down here twice a week and you get all this training and you get to go on campex, which everyone seems to like. You all, some of you go flying, shooting, some of you play in a band, all sorts of activities. Now, those activities would not be possible if it wasn't for the volunteers who look after you. The volunteers and the senior cadets. And it also, you have any idea how much time these people put in. These people are doing a day job, they do go to work Monday to Friday. Most of them are doing in excess of 20 hours a week on top of that, looking after your kids. Also, none of this would be possible if your parents and guardians didn't bring you along here in the first place and say it was alright. So what I'd like to do now is for you, cadets, to give a round of applause for the some volunteers and the, the parents and guardians and other adults who make all this possible for you. Well done. <laughs>
Eyes front. Logic on large pass. Move to the right and come on the roots. Right turn. So Watch out. 